Missy here. Thank you so much for joining me. In today's video, I have an update for Paranormal Pantivity. This was a project created by Andrea for the Fantastic Ladies. We started September 24th, 2022. We go through September 24th, 2023, and that was National Ghost Hunting Day. So this project is all about like spirits and spooks and ghosts. Um, much more paranormal, as it mentions, rather than Nightmare on Painting Street, which is much more horror based. <laughs> so those were the difference between the two projects. I had brought in all of my prompts in September. I did an October update. I didn't update in November, but I'm updating today. And I've, but I brought everything in, but I've still been doing this mostly rolling style. So I'm gonna walk you through, I do have a few empties. So I'm gonna walk you through the empties. I'm gonna go based on my spreadsheet and we'll talk about what we've got going on. You ready? You ready? Okay, let's get started. So Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary <laughs> is a product, nope. A project, oh my gosh. A product with a mirror. I brought in my Park Avenue Princess palette from Too Faced, no, nope, Tarte, and I picked out one shade. My goal for this is to hit pan. Um, as of the last update, I've used it three times. I've used it five more times for a total of eight. I will insert a picture and maybe a little bit of video. So definitely not there yet. There's not even a dip. <laughs> I basically take my brush, there. it's put right beside the Too Faced one that I'm going to share with you later, and I just swirl them in at the exact same time. So that's how that is working. Vanishing, Hitchh Vanishing Hitchhiker, a product that disappears quickly. I brought in this. This is the Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover. I actually really, really enjoy this makeup remover. Um, this was brand new when I brought it in. My goal was to finish. Go Matt. Next, Kelpie, a product that you use in the shower or bath. I brought in this. This is the Pumpkin Apple Butter Bath Bevy. I brought this in originally, like this was one of the ones I rolled. And then the last update, I was like, I completely forgot it existed. Well, guess what? I finished it. She actually has one of this smell again for sale. And I was like, nope, Misty, you do not need any. We are not buying any. <laughs> so anyway, my goal is to finish that. And I did. So yeah. Next, oops, forgot to turn that off. I apologize. Ghost, a product with unfinished business, aka something you previously panned but did not hit your goal. So um, I brought in this. This is the Dry Bar Heat Protectant Mist. This weighed 141, it's now 139. I've literally used it one time. I don't know how I feel about this because I feel like this makes my hair very, very greasy. Um, does anybody else, have you used this? Do you experience that? Can you give me some tips or tricks? Maybe it's just my hair is too thin or whatever. I don't know. I just, I haven't cared for it. Um, I'm going to give it just a few more, a few more uses. And if I feel like it still makes my hair greasy, I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. So yeah, that, that's originally in to finish. We'll put a little asterisk <laughs> to see what we do. Next was Orbs, a product that brings light to your face. I brought in this. This is the Makeup Revolution iHeart Revolution Radiance Powder. I was able to make a little tiny new line that is the Black Sharpie. And um, as of the last update, I've used this two more times for a total of six. So not a whole lot of use, but I did use it today. It is a beautiful powder. If you're someone who likes a more radiant finish kind of finishing powder, that's absolutely beautiful. I do enjoy it. Um, Flying Dutchman, a product you're doomed to pan what feels like forever. <laughs> That's this. This is the Too Faced um, Chocolate Soleil Mini Bronzer. Mickey Mouse is pretty much gone. Womp, womp, womp. Um, I had 98 uses on that as of the last update. I used it five more times and I'm up to 103. I honestly think I've used it more than that but maybe not. I honestly, I honestly couldn't tell you. I honestly don't remember how many times I've worn makeup since the last update. I mean, I could probably check maybe, but yeah, it is going to take all year and that's why I brought it in. <laughs> that's why I brought it in. Afterlife, a product past its expiration date. I brought in this. This is the Revolution Hydrate and Fix. Um, setting spray. So the orange is where we were. The pink is where we are. Um, and this will eventually become my primary setting spray. I am just about done with this one. I have been kind of using them simultaneously. 
Um, I like, this one's radiant, so I like this one to be done um, last, and then I go on this one first because it's more of like a setting. So that's, I double up on basically everything. <laughs> but that's how I double up on the setting sprays. Next, haunting a dupe product that haunts you or pan a product you regret buying. I had brought in this. This is the Milani Concealer. Um, this is drying AF and it is finished. I'm not, I didn't take the stopper out because it just got so dry. I was like, I'm not even going to screw around with it. But yeah, this I regret, I regret purchasing ever and it is done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Another product that's done is Reincarnation, a product you have bought in the past that has updated packaging. Um, I brought in this. This is the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip. You can see I didn't get everything quite out, but this has gone off, and I'm not putting this anywhere near my face. Um, so I don't have a whole lot left. I'm going to go ahead and call that an empty for all intents and purposes. And then this one. What I brought in one... There it is. Oh, I've actually have two. Look at me. Look at me. I can be center field. <laughs> Put me in gold. Okay. Forgot about these two. We have Gremlin, a mini or a deluxe size sample. I've started working on this. This is the Clinique Smart Clinical Repair. If you saw. Wait, which one's going to go up first? I don't know. Women Who Rock, I was working on the original Clinique Eye Balm, and I finished that. So I went ahead and started working on this one. I like this one, too. I really do. Um, Clinique moisturizers are actually really nice. I love, I love all of them that I've tried so far. So that one's really, really good. My goal is to finish that. I... This actually may be done by the next update. I don't really know. I tend to go through eye cream pretty quickly and I use it morning and night. So we'll see, but I'm not making any promises. What will be done by the next update is this. This was for Tower of London, a product that makes you lose your head either in delight or frustration. This is a Batiste dry shampoo. This is the Big Mama Jamma. I probably have maybe one more use maybe two and this will be an empty so you will see this in my end of the year empties so i'm gonna go ahead and call it good now okay so i am currently working on one two, three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six out of thirty one so let's roll in I've been rolling in two at a time, but since I missed an update, let's do four. I need to bring it pretty random. My numbers are going to be different because I put mine in a spreadsheet. So I am doing two through 31, and if it's something I'm already doing, or two through 32, or I'm already working on it, I will skip it. Okay, I need to clear my history, prevent rerolls. Let's do four. So first one is 18. That is... Okay, not working on it. All right, so let us start at the top. So I brought in White Lady, a product in with the that's a blah, blah, blah. <laughs> product that's white or in white packaging. I've got a double, double, double world score. I'm bringing in this. This is the Soap and Glory Speed Plump Hydrating Day Lotion. I mentioned that this is not even close to full. It's brand spanking new. Um, my goal is going to be to finish this. I'll see if I can mark it. If not, we'll give it a wait. And this will not be done my next update. It may take me a little bit, but this is in to finish. Next, we have Black Dog, an animal-themed product, and I brought in this since Andrea is pretty as a peacock. She loves peacock. I went ahead and brought in my Lovebird palette. It's got pink peacock feathers, and I'm bringing in this um, shade right here called Sing a Song, and my goal is going to be to hit pun. This is a really pretty shade. Don't mind the blue one. <laughs> it's a really pretty kind of peachy gold 
shimmer and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So that is going to be to hit band and we will see how long that takes. Next, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Silkies, fem female spirits dressed in silk, a product that has a silky texture or something that leaves your skin feeling silky smooth. I'm gonna bring in this. This is the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. I've only tried this once or twice and I was like, I'm not quite ready to start this yet. I think I'm ready to start it for sure. Um, Courtney sent me this for my birthday. I will weigh it because I know this is not see-through. It only has maybe one or two uses on it. So this is actually big and bag and ready, ready to go. So that is that. And then last but not least is Spirit, a nature theme product. I'm bringing in this. This is another KVD lip vinyl. That's what I have on my lips today. This is in the shade Carnation. This is gorgeous. I love this. I love this formula so much. It doesn't dry down, but it's absolutely beautiful. So my goal for this is going to be to finish it. So I will weigh this one and we'll track it um, via weight and usage. So that's it. <laughs> I don't foresee any empties by the next update. Um, possibly the eye cream, maybe the spray, but I doubt it. Um, I may have a declutter with that dry bar. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, that's that's it. So, oh, the Batiste, but I'm already calling that done and because that'll be done this this um, this month. So yeah, that's it. <laughs> you still have plenty of time to jump on this. It's starting in September, so we have what ten more months left on this one. It's really really fun. I love all the prompts. Um, Andrea is so funny, and her daughter no. <laughs> Her daughter, no, is so cute. So anyway, that's not her name, but that's what she calls herself for the most part. Anyway, that's it. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't already, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Um, I am trying to hit 900 subscribers. I mean, I really like to get to 1,000, but I, I think a miracle would have to happen for that to happen by December 31st. But 900 would still be cool. Whatever you do, I hope you have a good day, night, weekend, wherever you are. I don't know when this is going up. Is this going up before or after Christmas? Maybe on Christmas Eve. If you're someone who celebrates, I hope you have a very Merry Christmas, safe travels, etc. If you're someone who really struggles this time of year, I hope you have a very gentle holiday. I said that in my Women Who Rock as well. Um, just be as gentle with yourself as you can. The holidays are hard for a lot of people, so I hope that you survive, you know, as best as you can and know that you're loved and yeah, just, just, just do what you can. But other than that, friend, I appreciate you. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.